what's good everybody it's your girl jacayla a and i'm back with another video it's a fall theme video but on shorties okay fall nails can be cute and shorties can be cute so we're gonna combine both today she basically didn't know what she wanted but she wanted something fall themed to me fall doesn't have to be literal it does not have to be a bunch of leaves it, it it literally is just a color palette you know like how when summer come around we start seeing neons when spring come around we start seeing pastels that to me is basically just fall okay you want to get them browns them oranges really deep colors like forest green burgundy navy blue that's one you don't really see a lot i hope i hope i do some navy blue nails this season but you definitely do see forest green a lot i love green nails I'm eyeing my own green design that I want to do for the season. I might switch to navy blue because you don't really see a lot of navy blue. But today I went with brown, nude, and white because she did want to keep it neutral. And she also did not want any pieces um, as far as like bling and charms. I've been getting a lot of CNAs. Um, I do live in a kind of a small town. That's what we're going to talk about today in the video is living in certain places and seeing certain different trends with the nail industry but i live in milwaukee wisconsin it's not necessarily a small town but it's definitely not a major city so you see a lot of people have really modest nails it's just the tools and fuse that you'll see especially in this economy with people having real fancy long nails they obviously cost a lot and they cost a lot to maintain when you got nails longer than just a regular long length really when you got nails longer than the medium you have to get your nails done every two weeks like pushing it to two and three that's how you get a lot of cracks in your nail bed that's how you get a lot of really dangerous and painful lifts you just have to maintain your nails when you have long nails some people get their nails done every week when they got long nails because they just do not play like that and so shout out to those people. But today in the video, I'm going to just leave y'all with the background of the video. It's very self-explanatory. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. But today we're going to talk about living in different cities and different things in the nail industry that go into effect of that. It's not just price. Sometimes you get trends that are very different in different cities and you get just different experiences i've only lived in two cities but i've only did nails in one which is the city that i currently live in for a small amount of time i did live in texas but now i'm eyeballing moving to atlanta so i want to live outside of atlanta because obviously nobody that relocates to atlanta actually moves to atlanta you mostly just move on the outside of atlanta something about me really feels like i would get a kick out of living on the east coast but i do think being in the south it'll be easier for me to travel and i mean fully travel i want to go to dc i want to go to philly i want to go to jersey that's where i think i want to move i want to go to new york because i would love to live in new york but i know that i don't know i don't know how i would feel about living in new york i feel like jersey is where you move to or even philly is where you move to so that you're close enough but you're not in new york okay it's a different beast to live in new york city so you know it's just awesome to think about but i definitely have been stalking the pages of the ato nail text i could do a little bit better job of researching so i'm gonna get on tiktok and i'm gonna look at a little bit more you know content about what it is to live in atl where the places at that they shop and etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm sure it's a lot of good stores out there too for nails but what i want to talk about is the fact that what is viewed in one place as too much can literally be the standard in another place so i don't want y'all to get too discouraged if you find that if you're on the beginning of your journey and the services that you're offering what you have to bring to the table the particular style that you're in i don't want you to feel too defeated by it when it's not prevalent around you because really you just probably need to change locations for me and me for instance I'm back in my hometown where I originally took off doing nails, but now that I found my style, now that I find out exactly who I want to be with my nail career and exactly how I want to carry it, the certain services that I do and just downright do not want to offer, um, et cetera, et cetera, I'm finding that I'm not as booked and that's okay. Like it's definitely okay to not be as booked. I know that 
the type of quality of what I'm giving or really the style that I'm in with the, a lot of the nails that I, you know, showcase and promote. It's not the most simplest of nails. And there are a lot of services that I just downright do not offer. I think I'm going to do a TikTok on it. Or maybe I'll make it a long video if anybody cares for it. You can request it. But there are a lot of things as a person that's been doing nails for five years that I just do not do. I just do not do. I do not compromise. I do not bend the rules. There are just certain things along the way that I found just don't work for me. And when you are building your business initially, you feel like there's nothing you can say no to. You feel like there's there's no customer that is not the customer for you. You got to cater to every single customer. But the reality is that's just not functional. That's just not doable. And that's really not even your thing to deal with that's not even you know i'm saying something to weigh on you when you cannot service a customer and what they want or require just doesn't align with your business you got to know that it's okay to just be like i don't offer that i'm sorry i can give you a recommendation that's my thing i'll tell you no in a heartbeat but i'll give you a recommendation for a person that can get it done for you like i'm never just gonna leave you hanging but i find especially with the pricing of certain places that sometimes it's not really that it's an issue with you or that you're actually requiring too much sometimes you are just not a good fit for your circumstance you just are not a good fit for your circumstance so it might be getting a second job i already have a second job but i'm eyeing a third one it might be getting a third job it might be you know sitting it down for a minute and coming back to it it also just might be getting into a better surrounding it might be getting into a better surrounding. So as I'm looking at what life in ATL is like and I'm comparing it to what my life is like, I could see so much vast differences. And I think one of the biggest ones being that that's a very tourist heavy space. So I feel like that's another reason why I'll be able to clean up. We don't have the same volume of people in and out of our city and, in my, and out of my space. So I just don't experience you know, a lot of the things that I'm seeing that people experience in bigger cities. So it was just on my on my spirit to come and bring that word. Sometimes it's not you and not being enough. It's just your circumstance is not built for what you're trying to do. So you might be the eyeball out. You might have to put yourself in a different environment, a different surrounding.
I haven't been talking through my videos because I don't want to be annoying. I feel like I used to always talk through the whole video, but you probably don't want to hear me talk, okay? You probably just want to see the video. So I want to thank y'all for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!